Hi guys, DIY Mark. Today I'm going to share with you a six month review of the Troy Built Chipper Shredder Yard Vacuum. And if you have a lot of leaves on your property or just interested in an easy way to make excellent garden compost, this might be a good tool for your garden shed. For those of you who follow my channel, many of you know that I enjoy getting my hands on a new power tool for testing. This one's been on my list for quite some time. While the Troy Belt resembles a traditional gas mower, you won't be using it to cut the grass. Instead of a whirling grass cutting blade below the deck, there is a large impeller fan that creates a vacuum that sucks in debris from the front of the unit. It's then directed into a series of shredder blades called flails that pulverize the incoming debris. The results are then tossed into the rear bag of the unit. The manufacturer claims it has an 8 to 1 ratio of compaction. The vacuum blades in the cutter is powered by a Troy Built branded 160cc 4 stroke single overhead valve gas engine. The engine is manufactured in the US. This 060 is the smallest chipper shredder vacuum or CSV in the Troy Built lineup. The Troy Built came in a single large cardboard box and it was mostly assembled. You just need to attach the push handle and install the accessory hose. Installation went quickly and smoothly for the most part, but a small amount of oil leaked from the engine onto the hose assembly during shipping and it made everything slippery with oil. So the entire unit had to be wiped down with solvent. Once assembled, I removed the spark plug, checked the gap, I added the included engine oil and fueled it up. First time starting took about a half dozen spirited pulls or so of the start cord and it came to life. A big blue cloud of smoke rose from my backyard as it burned off the shipping oil. The first thing I notice is that this unit is loud, about 90 dB by my sound meter. It's not louder than any other gas powered mower, but since I converted to an electric mower several years ago, the roar of a gas engine is a bit of a shock. I purchased this Troy Built CSV to help with making garden compost. To do so, I need to collect a lot of leaves and pile them up for decomposition. More on that in a few minutes when we talk about the results of this machine. I loaded up the Troy Belt into my van and took it to a local park where there are lots of big leaf trees. I live in Southern California and the leaves drop much later in the year than colder parts of the nation. But this park is a perfect testing ground for the CSV. I should also mention that this machine requires 100% muscle to push it around. There's no power assist. And for a large yard, or for a job like this at the local park, that included a bit of incline, you're going to likely get tired. Some of the larger Troy Built CSV models include a self-propelled feature, and that would be welcome. If the leaves are dry, pickup is fast and efficient. The front wheels on the unit adjust up and down, which moves the nozzle closer or farther from the ground. Unfortunately, they work independently, so you have to adjust each one to match the height, or one wheel will be up in the air. When lowered, the vacuum works excellent on concrete sidewalks and patios to pick up debris. Raise it up an inch or so, and it again works great at picking up those big dry leaves off the grass. If the leaves are wet, that's another story. Pickup will become a frustrating job. Stick with dry leaves and save your sanity. The shredder flails do an excellent job of turning the large leaves into small compact pieces, which are excellent for composting. The unit does a great job of moving the debris to the rear bag and compacting it down. It seems that the unit will continue to push more and more waste into the bag. In fact, I quickly learned that if you wait too long to empty the bag, it will become a large brick that doesn't want to come out. It's better to empty it more often than not and you won't have to dig the leaves out of the bag. The bag itself does the job but it could be better. It's a fleece-like material attached to a plastic handle that mounts to the vacuum deck. The back side of the bag has a series of folds to close up the emptying side and two clasps to keep it from unfolding and they didn't work that great. The design allows leaves and dust to shoot out between the folds and into your face if you're not careful when you're reinstalling it. The whole design seems a bit primitive and it could be better thought out. 
If the machine didn't have a large hose draped across the front of the unit, it would look exactly like a normal lawnmower. The way the hose works is you can move a damper located on the front of the unit and fully seat the hose into the nozzle, which pulls the air through the hose rather than the front scoop. The 4 inch diameter hose has a handle that allows you to reach to tough to get spots, like between trees and bushes, or along hardscaping. It sounds a lot more glamorous than it is. The hose is relatively stiff and the handle is awkwardly placed. The unit also has a metal chute located on the side of the unit for chipping small tree limbs. The idea is, is that you feed branches down into the flails and they are pulverized. But this Troy built 060 claims it will handle branches up to one and a half inches. The problem is with this smaller Troy built unit is that the branches need to be fairly straight to fit down the inch and three quarter wide opening. So if your tree has the normal wanky, crooked kind of branches, they easily jam in the chute and never reach the cutter. Back to the engine on this Troy built. I always found it a bit difficult to start. It seems to want full choke to get it going. Even if you've been running it for 20 or 30 minutes and shut it down for a minute just to empty the bag, I found it wants some choke to get it going again. And the pull cord doesn't seem to have a lot of gearing advantage. So it's a bit tough to pull. Your arm will definitely feel it after a half dozen or so tries. Servicing the air filter is super easy. The unit has a couple of plastic tabs on the top. Just push them in and the cover removes revealing the pleated paper filter. No tools required. The gas cap has a nice retention lanyard on it so you don't misplace it when you remove it. The opening is a bit small once you insert your gas can nozzle making it difficult to see how much gas is in tank as you're filling it. But this is a minor annoyance. The oil filler is also convenient with a tall filler and a decent sized cap and opening. It also has an integral dipstick that is easy to read. Changing the oil is another story. The drain bolt is buried at the bottom of the filler tube behind the chipper chute. It means you have to remove the chute and tip the whole machine on the side to drain the oil. A guaranteed mess to clean up. While the design does have its shortcomings, it does a great job at making compost ready material. In a little more than an hour, I cleared a good amount of the local park and filled four 42 gallon plastic contractor bags full of shredded leaves. I then make a trip to the local Starbucks and they happily supplied me with several bags of coffee grounds. I then mix the grounds with the leaves and water in my home built corral. In just a couple of days, the compost is cooking at temps over 140 degrees. And in just a few months, this will be garden gold. Overall, I'm pretty happy with my purchase of this Troy built yard vacuum. For my purposes, it met my expectations. Way better than raking. It makes large collection a much simpler job. I should also mention that this unit is not cheap. Like any gas powered machine, there are a lot of moving parts and the cost was a bit north of 500 bucks. I've seen several other brands that could be clones of this Troy built with different colored paint. So shop around and you might find a deal. And better yet, find a used one that you can refurbish and save some cash. So I would rate this Troy Built 060 a C plus or three stars. So I hope this was helpful and it lets you know what you're getting for your money. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you soon.